people are not going to like that I've been gone for so long. Hi. <laughs> <coughs> I think I'm going to need to do my hair. It's going to be one messy challenge that we're doing today. So, Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a long time because I just started school. So, it's been tough. It's been rough. It's a Labor Day. So today for this video, because yesterday I put up a poll on my Instagram on a review on the Juvia's Place Foundation or the Power of Makeup, even though that's probably really old, but do I care? No, because I want to do stuff that my friends like or like whatever. So today we're going to do the Power of Makeup. So what does that mean? What does the Power of Makeup mean? Well, it means that I do half my face with makeup and my other half of my face clean because sometimes the power of makeup can turn you into a catfish sometimes but for me I can never be a catfish why symphony mm, I don't know cuz I don't look different with makeup on I don't I don't know how to explain it but today we're gonna do the power of makeup so that's gonna be really exciting cuz I also get to mess with the new foundation that I got which is since I am not doing a review on it, probably will do a review on it today since the video is going to be based off of power makeup and I'm trying out new things that I bought. So let's get right into the video. So as you can see, I put a mark down my middle of my face. So I'm going to do this side with the makeup and then this without the makeup. Oh, what is this? This is a new product that I got from e.l.f. It is from their Jelly Pop collection and this is their dew primer let's just say one goes a long way because I tested it and one goes a long way so we're gonna do two pumps since we're only doing this for half my face so then I'm going to so it's a jelly like consistency Ooh. <laughs> Ew. how do I feel about this primer I'm pretty excited to try it because I've never had a primer of this consistency in my life. So this is something new that I'm not scared to try, but also kind of like really interested in trying. Because if it's something weird, you know your girl's gonna cop. So after we put on the primer all over the face. Gonna, I guess I've seen a couple of people test this out where you let it dry so we're gonna let that dry so it leaves kind of like a tacky consistency so it can like pick up your makeup so we'll see how this does at the end of the video because this is a pretty cool primer and I think this would be a pretty cool product to use and it's not sticky when it's on your fingers which I'm a huge fan of so the next thing is we're going in with foundation. So after the primer has dried, we are going to go into foundation. We are going to be using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation in the shade 600 Cario. I don't know if I said that right. And I'm going to be using this sponge because my other sponge is being washed right now. So we're going to see how this looks. Oh, <laughs> this makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. Really, really. Oh, a lot goes a long way. And do I regret this? I probably will later. Because, you know what? Your girl's gonna regret everything anyway. So. So, this foundation. I don't regret buying because it was pretty nice time. Oh my god. Okay. I'll be back when this is fully blended up. So the foundation is all blended out and next I'm going to go into with concealer. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 145. Also this is a thing where a little goes a long way. 
also for the foundation I didn't put too much I just would got too scared so boom 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 And then go to right here. I think that's it. Then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to turn around and grab my brush. And we're going to blend everything in. I'm blend everything in. And then I'll come back once everything is blended in. So you guys don't have to watch me blend stuff. So I'll be right back. So now we're going to set everything in using very defined setting powder, setting the under eye, setting to right here, basically setting everything. The under eye set because a girl doesn't want to look too much. Not gonna lie, I like this foundation so far. Next, we are going to bronze the face. Okay, so I contoured my face as good as I can. Not the greatest, but I am kind of in not in a rush, but the bronzer I have does not work, as you can see, but I tried, so we're going to move on to the next thing, which is eyes. So today I was thinking, since it's not too extravagant, maybe something light, maybe something not so dark, so we are going to go for more of like a goldish bronze look. So let's get started, why don't we? So today, we're going to be using one of my favorite palettes, the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. So the shades we're going to do for the Goldish Bronze, we are going to start into our crease with Cake Mix in the outer corner, a mixture of Ouch and Intravious. And then for the Goldish part, we're going to be using a different palette. So, two different palettes for one eye look. Hmm. We're gonna thought like I do that every time anyway. So we're gonna start with cake mix in the crease area. As you can see, it's one of my favorite colors in this palette since I use it so much. We have cake mix going in. It's starting to look very nice. Because his shades in this palette are amazing. So they're super blendable. And I love the color payoff. Color payoff is amazing too. So after that, we're going to go into the outer corner, which is a mixture of Ouch and Intravavis. Probably said that wrong also very tired so please do not judge my pronunciations on this on these colors so after you mix that kind of want to bring it up a little bit bring the color palette on top still getting the cake mix color on the inner corner So that is how we're going to start out. 
like that. Very, very, very cool. So after that, we're gonna use a different palette for the gold part of the look. We're gonna be using my James Charles palette. So in this palette, we're gonna be using a gold. So we're gonna be using this shade right here since it's gold. It's everything. I like this palette. I'm running out of a couple shades, I would say. So it's the most used palette that I've used. Also with the um, other palettes that I've used before. So I need to grab my mirror. Hold on. Again, I'm back. <laughs> So we're going to do that close to the inner corner, kind of just sweep it out. So you can see the gold is coming up, so we have an outline for the gold. We have a very, very smooth outline, and I'll come back. So I finished the eyes. Well, the eyes are almost done. But next we're going to put some blush. I'm going to be using the Blush Baby Sheer Tone Blush by MAC. Jeez. Dab, dab, dab. Just going to go kind of just brighten up the face a little bit. Kind of just, just do it basically. I'm using, it's more of like a brownie and pinky. So after that, bang it a couple times and then mix. Kind of mix it around. And after that, we're going to do something that is probably going to be difficult. But after I did my blush stuff, we're going to go into eyeliner, lipstick, and highlighter. So, let's get into it, baby. So I did my eyeliner and my lips off camera because those were taking a little long because I could not find my, um, lip liner kind of was mad about that but i did my eyeliner for the first time eh not the greatest but next we're going to go into highlight and we're going to use jeffree star skin frost in sarcophagus so i am going to use wow i'm looking down a lot and i can't find my brush there it is I totally have not gotten a little table yet, because you know, we haven't been to Ikea in a while. So this is what it looks like. There's a lot of product in here, so a little goes a long way, because I learned that the hard way a couple days ago when using this product. But like, not gonna lie, Jeffree Star is kind of slaying it with the new products and everything. Heard his new collection is out with Morphe again. Love it. Wish I wasn't broke so I can get it. I'm not gonna lie. Kinda mad, kinda pressed. So after that, I'm gonna do a little mini nose highlight. Go for the side of my nose. So this is the finished product of Power of Makeup. So it's the face without the makeup. This is the face with the makeup. Hmm. Thoughts. Foundation is looking pretty good. Kinda has in my smile lines. Kinda it's really blendable. So I'm not hating it. 
also matches with my neck so I don't look too tan. Also this oxidizes so it's better if you get a shade lighter. That's what the lady said at Ulta. Um, the foundation is doing very well for my skin. And I don't have that many skin problems. But I do have dry skin. So like in here, dry skin, working on that. But let's get someone's complete review of it. So we're going to show my mom. So let's go over to my mom, why don't we? Hey okay, mom, I have a question for you. I have a question. What do you think? Yes. I'm not talking about that. How do you think of my skin? With the foundation. Up close. Seems a little thick then compared to your face. No, it's not thick. It's it was very light. What do you think? Do you think it's approved? I don't think so. It's just it's different, I guess. It's me. Yeah. So that's from my mother. But overall, I like it. It's amazing. I find it very, very, very nice foundation matches with my skin and my neck. I don't look too kind of like, what's the word? Too dark, too, not too light. I don't look white. Highlight, amazing. Concealer from Fenty, it, it's a little creasy. I love it though because it like sets for my eyes very well. Eyeliner. It's a new eyeliner. I got it from Anastasia that came out. Their Anastasia one. Amazing. I love the applicator. Keeps it clean. Keeps it nice. I'm not good at eyeliner so please don't judge my eyeliner. This stuff works wonders for your skin. No, like, except for my smile lines, which is right here. But it looks like I do get dry around my mouth area, which is normal for me. But overall, I like the Power of Makeup Challenge. It's not too... There's not that much of a difference, I would say. It's not different, different. With makeup. It's not like... Okay, wait. I don't see a difference, but comment down below, please subscribe, like and comment, it would mean a lot. Please send this video to your friends or family. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. I don't like you. So get in line.